Hey guys, so at work again and I wanted to talk about the whole no Hellboy 3 aspect. Now it was, this was honestly something that went around for a long freaking time. The last, the first film came out in 2005, the second one came out in 2008. I remember seeing both of them in theaters and I liked how the second one ended. I liked how when the faceless wing demon thing that told her, told uh, Selma Blair that if she resurrected, if she saved Hellboy's life, she was going to bring about, he was going to bring about the end of the world. And so she said, whatever, I'll do it. And that's what I, I've always wanted to see what that story and how that story ended. I wanted to see what happened with that. So we waited <clears throat> and we waited and we waited. And then Pacific Rim came around and Pacific Rim was basically kind of Gamaliel Del Toro's attempt that, all right, if this movie makes a lot of money, I will possibly have a chance at bringing Hellboy 3. The problem was it didn't make a lot. And the fact that there's a sequel coming honestly surprises me because I didn't think it was going to happen. Ergo, it is. So at least we got a sequel, right? Problem is the negotiations for Hellboy 3 kind of fell down. Well, the, originally the film was owned by Sony with Revelation Studios, but then Revelation, if I'm correct, shut down or something along the lines. Sony dropped it and Universal picked it up. There go for the second one. Then came the big blatch of nothing. There was some attempt at trying to get some merchandise. There was two animated movies, one of them being Blood and Iron, and then there was this video game, Science of Evil, which I heard sucked terribly. Either way, so a lot of nothing for the longest time, a lot of speculation. The comic book series apparently went really good to the point where Mike Mongoli, Mongolia, uh, he killed him, if I'm correct. He was in hell, and then he killed him in hell, or something along the lines. Either way, I've heard that the series is over for the time being. So, why did they decide to not do the third one? Well, Gamilio Del Toro did a Twitter feed. Like, I couldn't believe that it came down to freaking a Twitter poll to decide the fate of Hellboy. So anyways, he was said, hey, you guys want a sequel to Hellboy 3? Let's do a poll. So there was a bunch of like answers, and one of them was yes, hell yes. Anyway, there's a significant amount of people who voted for it. He then went to all major studios and all of them said no. And by all honesty, I understand completely because the movies never made that much money. The first one made decent amount for what it was made, what it was worth. The second one, I found correct, it barely did better than the first one. So that really dampened its chances of doing a sequel. So right now, Emilio Del Toro, even though Ron Perlman super wants to do it, and Del, Del Toro wants to do it, he has 100% said that there's not going to be a sequel. The thing is, that's at least a theatrical film version is definitely out of the picture. That is true. Doesn't mean that the story's over, though. This is something that's going to have to definitely be discussed with Mike Mangoli uh, and uh, Dark Horse Comics as well as Universal Pictures. But they have at least two options of how they can fix this. The first one is they just do a comic series, which, again, that's why they have to talk to Dark Horse Comics and all this stuff. They could do a comic version of how the story would end because I really want to know how the story ends. And they've done that before. Look at what happened with Flyerfly, right? That's been going on for the last little while, and that's being written by Josh Whedon's brother. They could do a novel version of it. Admittedly, a novel would not be as... It wouldn't really... It'd be kind of odd, considering how most likely, in most situations, whenever there's been a film or a show that has come to an end somewhat unabruptly, or... It has the potential for more. It's been turned into comics. That's happened with all of Josh Whedon's stuff. So there's nothing saying that that couldn't happen with Hellboy 3. The last option is, now this would be definitely the weird one, is they could do an animated version of it. Again, though, they would have to go around and get production money. It wouldn't, it would definitely be cheaper than theatrical version, but it still would cost a bit of money. So those are the three options that they have right now. They could either do a comic series, they could do a novel, or they could do an animated movie. And the animated movies aren't that bad. They even got Ron Perlman and the entire cast to reprise their characters in the animated film, so I don't understand 
how it could be an issue with this. But those are my thoughts. Anyways, I'm really, I'm upset. I, but I had kind of come to terms that it wasn't going to happen. I had been so, I don't know, like some people were saying, oh, look at Dumb and Dumber, that had a sequel, like gosh knows how long later. And Train Spotting 2 just had a sequel 20 years. But again, that's, those are very rare circumstances. One of them is for an actual novel that's a sequel to the original Train Spotting. And the other one is just pure stupidity of reason why they brought back Dumb and Dumber, I think, because Jim Carrey wanted to relive the highlight of his career. So that's what's going on right now. I think those are the three options. Though it's either that or this whole story goes to dark or Gamilio del Toro just talks in a conversation about what he would have done. That's it. I hope he doesn't do that. I'd like to see some form of narrative done because I really wanted to know how del Toro was going to finish this story. So anyway guys, that's all for me. That's my thought at work. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Sorry for the weird camera angle, but uh, it's right in my steering wheel right now. Anyways, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.